Welcome. Today we're continuing the Gintama journey with episode 35 and 36. In the last episode, Shin found his new, well, love dash crush, which is the other famous pop idol, Tama. He also has cat ears, which in the beginning he said he despises. <laughs> But he came to know that they can be very, very cute, especially in combination with the face and the looks of Tama. So, yeah, I really don't know what to expect for this next episode because she seems to be genuinely into him. But something feels off. It's too good to be true somehow. I don't know just a feeling we'll see as always if you enjoy the content i'm making and you want to support me you can head over to my patreon link is in the description down below you can also join the discord server if you want to talk hang out or even meditate so let's get into episode 35 <laughs> I was just wondering, why are they gonna do the recap? They haven't done it in a long time. Yeah, yeah, kinda. <laughs> He did it. Have we ever seen Sogo sweat? I think that's the first time. He's just blaming Hijikata. His hairline. <laughs> huh? What? Wasn't she there just now? But I'm confused. She was just there. <laughs> I'm I'm too naive. I thought by wallet she meant she, that she took some of his money to buy something for them. The Phantom Thief. Yeah, her voice also changed completely. Completely different persona. Yeah, but I knew sh uh, something was uh, not right. Something was aloof. Man, poor Shinpachi. He really deserves someone who genuinely loves him. Nice. Don't tell me she got crushed. He still saved her. Okay, I did not see that coming. He really convinced me there. I'm very impressed with Shinpachi. He's not just drowning in sorrow, but he's actually... Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. He's actually learning from the experience. <laughs> I 
Who is he talking about? He didn't know? <laughs> oh my... This guy? Okay. Why does Soko have so much hate for him? He called himself Gorilla? Okay. <laughs> He's just going because it looks like fun. Can't blame him because they're in, in a theme park. <laughs> <laughs> and why can't they just run around with weapons like that? Is there no security in this park? <laughs> as a as a kid, I loved these uh, carousels. Loved riding those horses. <laughs> uh, man, I I really like Matsudaira's personality. Hey, that's that's Gin's double. <laughs> he can't take it. Like totally. What is Sogo doing? He wants to test him? Um, it's just so weird, but I love it. He went flying? What? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. He just admitted that? Okay, now this is interesting. I mean, it's it's funny and all, but what he just said is very, very deep. Oh, he really accomplished the task. <laughs> Her face! <laughs> she did too? Oh no! It's gonna make them even closer. By poop. Okay. <laughs> Intestines. <laughs> what the fuck? He as well? Like totally. <laughs> Kondo is really kind of a pussy. Wow, she really does. And she's a, an amazing woman herself. She has my respect. They cannot cross this threshold. <laughs> Interesting, he thought that because of his own experience so far. But he was just convinced otherwise. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Mayonnaise? He's gonna protect them? 
Warrior. <laughs> So was it Mayo? Man, this episode is really one surprise after another. Oh my god. Okay, let's start with the first part of this episode, which was the conclusion to the story. The love story between Shinpachi and Tama, which turned out to be fake. Uh, so my my gut feelings were correct. Now I <laughs> I kind of misread what she wrote there that she stole his wallet and his heart. I I somehow I read that she just took his wallet and his heart she's gonna go buy something for them and then she's gonna come back yeah i totally misread that situation really sorry about that but yeah i really admire shinpachi's willingness to yeah move on from this situation and at the same time take something away from it to really Sees the opportunity of learning, of improving. Impachi has really grown in the span of these, yeah, 30 or so episodes. It's amazing to see. And I can't wait for the development he's gonna go through by the end of the series. <coughs> also, Matsudaira's daughter is amazing. She, I, I really respect her. That was just so empathetic and kind of her to lie in that situation and to kind of pull through with it. That was great. Also, Sogo what he said I'm insecure on the inside don't know if he really meant it but I think he did in a way so yeah I'm hoping to see that we uh, dive into that more in the future to kind of uh, be able to characterize him more to Take a look behind the curtain. Okay, so let's get into episode 36. What? Please don't jump. Why did she have to kick her? Why? He got paid? Nah. That can't be healthy. They're really putting every everything into it. Yeah, they. That sounds good. She reminds me of Kagura when first meeting her. The only people that were nice to her. A dancer. What was that weakness? Oh, 
<laughs> I thought it was gonna be something profound. This is profound. Profoundly stupid. <laughs> to hide your head in the stew. <laughs> Okay, whoa. So he is the leader of this, uh, what do you call it? Religion cult? <laughs> they all have it on different spots. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> so dramatic. Did he just do it? No way. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. <laughs> He's become a completely different person. But you can see that it's a... Uh, what do you call it? Toupee? <laughs> oh, so cool. Hmm. All of this falsehood. It, it's really dangerous to fall into a religion. Any religion, for that matter. <laughs> You're not Gintuki. <laughs> it's just so epic. <laughs> I'm yours to come at. Yeah, yeah. From the uh, pirate episode. He's a creator of miracles, but it is false miracles. It's all based on the power <laughs> on the power of belief, which can be very strong, but uh, Why? She's very naive. And that is that is so dangerous. Either people who are naive. Uh, <laughs> best outfit. Yeah. Yeah, well said actually. That is my point as well. Dreams make people blind. They dream and they dream of the future, but they don't see what's in front of them. They are blind. That is why, you know, dream. there's nothing wrong with having a dream, pursuing something, but if you're getting too caught up in it, your whole life, your whole identity becomes that dream, then you're not yourself anymore. Very good, very good. Me too. Mm, very simple ones. Yeah, easily attainable. Blood? That doesn't sound good. He should see a doctor. I clench too hard. Jesus. It's amazing what he can make his followers do without even 
hesitating, I mean, without even hesitating. And the power of friendship. Hattori. <laughs> Hattori. Nowhere else, but of course. <sighs> but it's still very impressive how fast he could conjure up all those things. They needed a push in the right direction. The spotlights were too blinding and now that the spotlights are shut off, they can finally see clearly again. Absorbed in his dream. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. To be absorbed in your dream. Oh, would like to see that too. <laughs> in secret yeah very very interesting episode well i've talked about it in the reaction itself but i'm just gonna repeat it I'll repeat what i said dreams can make you blind again i'm not saying that dreams are something bad and you you shouldn't have dreams but Being absorbed, as they said very well, being absorbed in a dream is uh, going to be your downfall. So yes, do follow your dreams, but at the same time, remain aware of the fact that the most important part of life is recognizing and being here and being now. Also about cults, uh, religions and their leaders. There's a lot of uh, fake leaders who are only in it for the riches, the money. I mean the material, uh, the material riches. So, and, and those people are very manipulative. They are great manipulators deceivers and people who are prone to well naivety or just uh, in general are just uh, do want to pursue their dreams so bad that they would do anything for it anything at all that those people easily fall for that because they, they're gonna seize every opportunity. And yeah, that's, that's really dangerous. So really, the big question is, you can ask yourself is, on whose behalf am I pursuing this dream? And what are the consequences? Okay, so, uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, this reaction, then of course uh, leave a like comment down below what you think i'm always interested in your opinion and your input uh, subscribe if you want to see more yeah enjoy your day take care and bye